I'm Conway Mayor Bart Castleberry. Joining me today is Conway Police Chief William Tapley. In the city of Conway, we are committed to transparency and openness. With that in mind, Chief Tapley is going to share with you the details of an incident that, are, that happened earlier in Conway this year. Chief Tapley. Unfortunately, we're here to talk about an incident that happened in our city February 4th of this year that resulted in the untimely death of 39-year-old Lionel Morris. We as the Conway Police Department and the City of Conway offer our deepest condolences and heartfelt prayers to the Morris family. The loss of a loved one is difficult no matter the circumstances. Before I get into the details of what occurred and the findings of the investigation, I would like to thank the Arkansas State Police and the 20th Judicial District Prosecuting Attorney's Office for their commitment and effort in conducting an independent investigation into the facts of this incident. At 4.25 p.m. on February 4th, Conway Police received a call about a shoplifting in progress at Harp's Grocery Store on East German Lane. On arrival, officers made contact with two people who were identified by store employees as the shoplifting suspects. After the concealed merchandise was located, officers proceeded to ask both of them to place their hands behind their back. The woman, Brandy Arnold, was placed under arrest, while the man later identified as Lionel Morris ran from officers to avoid being taken into custody. Officers caught Morris inside the store in a struggle ensued that lasted approximately six and a half minutes. During the struggle, officers instructed Morris to submit to arrest nearly 40 times. Officers tased Mr. Morris multiple times during the struggle in an attempt to gain control. Morris said he was in medical distress while continuing to fight for several minutes. At one point, Morris reached for a knife clipped to his pocket. As the struggle continued, Morris dragged one of the officers to the ground, positioned himself on top of the officer, and placed the officer in a chokehold. Instead of using deadly force, the officer grabbed the knife and drew it from the immediate area. Approximately five minutes into the struggle, more officers arrived on scene and were eventually able to subdue Morris and place him in danger. Get in here. A call for emergency medical services was made by officers before handcuffs were secured. I'm gonna get Mims in around. One Conway, get Mims in or out. Stop. Stop Anybody else missing a? You can talk. Stop. Stop moving. Stop moving. Did you already check this in? You can talk. You can breathe. Slow. We got. We got an ambulance. Oh, you're all right. <laughs> it's on the back. Yeah. 
bit away from him. Oh. Prior to medical personnel arriving, Morris was placed in a recovery position and began receiving treatment for injuries he sustained during the struggle. Medical professionals arrived and took over care and treatment. Unfortunately, Mr. Morris passed away during transport to the hospital. At the request of the Conway Police Department, Arkansas State Police responded to the scene and started an independent investigation into the incident. This investigation ultimately took several months, interviewed multiple witnesses, reviewed all videos and audio from both Harps and the Conway Police Department, and encompassed the state medical examiner's report. The autopsy and toxicology report determined that Mr. Morris was positive for several drugs, including methamphetamine and morphine. The level of drugs in Mr. Morris's system and the strain he exerted while struggling with the police ultimately contributed to his death. The Arkansas State Police turned over their entire file, including the medical examiner's report, to the 20th Judicial District Prosecuting Attorney. After a thorough review, the prosecutor determined there was no evidence of any criminal wrongdoing by the Conway Police Department or the Conway Police officers involved in this unfortunate incident. Now that the independent investigation has determined that officers did not cause Mr. Morris's death, an internal professional standards investigation will proceed in order to further review details of the case and to determine whether there were any policy or rule violations. People may view aspects of this incident and be disturbed or uncomfortable. I understand. Use of force in any situation is uncomfortable and should always be analyzed to determine if things can be improved upon. In reviewing this incident, I recognize that there are things as a police department we can do better, and these are things that we will do better. In closing, I once again would like to express our sympathies to the Morris family and all others impacted by this unfortunate incident.